assalamu alaikum guys in the last lecture we have discussed how to uh, change or modify some parameters and assign the releases so we can alter between the moment and shear connection so today uh, we can see in our structure that these four connections are similar connections similarly these four corner connections are similar connections uh, so we are going to discuss and model these two connections today uh, but before that uh, we need to be sure that what type of connection are we providing so for the main rafter and column we are going to keep it as moment connection but uh, for the tie members and the tie members connection to the column will be shear connection so let us check whether our releases are assigned in our model or not click on standard view and uh, here we can see that this releases option is frozen we cannot uh, check it this means that currently in our model there are no releases assigned so uh, let us assign the releases I am going to assign shear connection to these members select them go to assign frame releases partial fixity uh, here I'm going to check uh, or release both the uh, minor moment and the major moment click on apply now my releases are assigned major moment and minor uh, moment is released in these uh, time members so let us run the analysis and check the design okay our design design seems okay so we can model our connections uh, I will undeform this shape and uh, to we can also hide these purlins because these are not required at this stage and to display the member sections click uh, press ctrl w and click on this section button click on ok ok uh, first i will model this particular connection edge connection which is having a uc column and ub beam and ub tie member so open idea statica uh, here we have different templates already available uh, we are going to connect or column and rafter together so I've selected this template you can also select this uh, blank template and create all the members uh, manually but uh, uh, it will be easy if we follow the template so I'm going to select this first template and in the moment connection let us select this uh, simple moment connection the fourth option and here we can see there are some materials already default materials already available in the list uh, since our model has s275 so i'm going to select this material click on ok and to select the bolts uh, we can select any bolt right now and we can change them later so let us keep them as m16 click on ok and in the left side it is showing the grade of the bolts so normally in euro code standards normally 8.8 .8 grade standard is used so i'm going to keep it as 8.8 .8. click on ok in the concrete grade you can select your concrete strength this will be required when we are designing the base connection and in the design code multiple design codes are available but we have used euro code so i'm going to keep it as euro code and then click on create project okay now this uh, template is already uh, displayed on the screen here you can see the main rafter is currently ipe 240 whereas the column section is heb 180 so we need to change these connections based on our model I'm going to first change the rafter so select this one and the section which we have in our model is UB305, 165 and 54 so click on this edit button and this box 
and here you can select UB section it is 305 165 by 54 click on ok the material is already S275 you don't need to change that click on ok okay now the beam section is changed I need to change the column section select this column and click on edit and again select this column UC section the column section is 203 by 52 so it is here in the list click on ok and ok ok now both our members are as per the model now if I select this rafter this beam section you can see there is some slope in the member uh, and definitely there is some slope in uh, these kind of steel structures but uh, in our SAB model we haven't kept any slope so just we will just keep it as straight member I'm going to keep it as zero now for the time being we can hide these stiffener members by checking this option and uh, let us now adjust the dimensions of this plate so click on it here uh, I will change the thickness of plate to 12 mm and let us keep it as rectangle and uh, uh, apply the dimensions manually so I will keep the plate thickness as uh, plate width as uh, 175 at the top 100 at the left and 100 at the right okay this seems okay now to check the actual dimensions of the plate it is also visible here if you select the plate you can clearly see the dimension the plate size is 200 by 350 but if you want to see the drawing of the plate right click on the member click on editor and here you can click on this drawing now we can clearly see all the dimension where the bolts are placed what is the edge distance all these things okay now our plate is finalized so we need to adjust the bolts uh, so let us uh, go to the bolt section here I will keep the distance as uh, let's say 100 mm and in three rows so I will type in 100 minus 100 let's press enter now you see our bolt is 100 mm from this center location now I want the next bolt to be at 100 mm spacing I will type in 100 and again space 100 click on enter now my three bolts are assigned the first one is at minus 100 then 100 and again 100 uh, similarly you can adjust the bolts in this direction I will type in minus let's say 50 and I want the next bolts to be at 100 mm so now all my bolts are applied you can check the drawing the bolts distance is mentioned clearly and the plate size is mentioned you can also adjust the bolts if let's say you want to move one particular bolt only you can always explore this option and you can adjust the bo each bolt manually okay now my now our main column to rafter connection is modeled to model the uh, this tie beam connection what I'm going to do is take a copy of this B member right click and copy and I will rotate it at 90 degrees okay and the member size is 203 102 23 so I'm going to add this member it's UB 203 102 23 click on ok and ok uh, now to connect this member to the column there are some templates available you can either manually input the operation from this uh, tab or you can right click on this member and connect to this column and we can use a simple shear connection this one having a fin plate welded to the column and then I beam will be connected to the fin plate through bolts so click on ok 
and we are going to use M16 bolts for now now this connection has appeared but it is giving some error here that the cut cannot be applied so let us see click on this operation yeah we want to cut our member M3 by C so now it is the error is gone now it is okay okay now this corner connection is ready having column uh, this tie beam and the main rafter now to model the uh, center connection having the two two tie members at both these ends I'm just going to save this file and uh, you can copy this connection by pressing this copy button now it will create this separate connection too so I'm going to copy this M3 member again and rotate it at minus 90 degrees I'm going to follow the same process right click connect to column C we are going to use this simple connection again okay okay here we can also uh, adjust this plate thickness I will click on this fin plate the thickness is 10 mm uh, let's keep it as it is we can change the overlap let's say 70 and uh, we can adjust the bolt distance at this location by 50 or whatever you whatever it is as per the uh, design uh, similarly I'm going to change the overlap of this plate and you can check the drawing by clicking going to editor click on drawing and here is the dimension of that fin plate you can adjust the bolts click on ok uh, okay one more thing in this model it is giving one error here so I'm going to change it to M4 cut by C now the error is gone the model is ok and uh, we are going to analyze and uh, design this model in the next lecture inshallah uh, but before that I'm going to uh, model the base connection as well so our column is 2032032352 I'm just going to copy the connection 1 copy it and it says now connection 3 I'm going to delete these members we don't need these now you can delete them by pressing right click and delete now this is our column we can add operation here okay we want to add the base plate so I'm going to select this base plate and it is uh, upside down so let us change the pitch to 90 okay I am going to keep it as a rectangle and let us now check again let's say let's enter 150 150 150 300 by 300 so uh, this looks a little small to me so I'm going to make it 180 180 180 and 180 keep the base plate thickness as 16 to adjust the anchors you can right click and click on view Z here I'm going to select a one let's say one 
then minus 250 and minus 250 so this looks okay for now but uh, when once we are uh, going to assign the load and then we are going to optimize and check whether these bolts and plates are passing or not so we are going to adjust all these parameters in the next lecture inshallah uh, i hope uh, you like the lecture so see you all in the next lecture take care allah hafiz